So this vat of resin uses the custom mix of a nanometer scale carbon black plus the deflocculating agents, the things that I've been working on. And this is um, a photocentrix resin, which is uh, kind of a medium grade resin, uh, about the same viscosity as say fun to do, a little bit more viscous than uh, maker juice. It's been sitting in the vat here for a couple of days now, or more than a couple of days, about a week, a week and a half. So the question is how much has the resin settled? For instance, is the resin, uh, could I just start right off and, and print? Or has it settled any appreciable amount? So let's take a look at that and see how it looks. So I've got the camera on the vat. Now let's just sweep it a bit and see what it looks like on the bottom. So that actually looks pretty uniform. I'm not seeing uh, significant settling on the bottom of this vat. Um, let's grab a, a representative sample. Let me clean off the, the squeegee here. And I swept the bottom here. So let's grab a little bit off the top here. The top there seems to be reasonably, reasonably black. It hadn't settled. Let's um, so let me sweep that down there, and then let's take a look and maybe tilt the vat and see what it looks like if I tilt the vat this way. Seems to be reasonably even. I'm not seeing any uh, crazy pigment streak marks. You'd have to be the judge of it yourself, but it seems like it's reasonably printable. Um, and remember, this is after a this is after a week. There might be a little bit of section here that's a little bit smoky looking, but it's hard to say if this is the way whether it's because it's settled or just this is the way that it kind of moves across the surface. I have noticed that um, the nanoscale carbon black does seem to um, spread out a little bit differently than others, especially because the small scale of the pigment means that it tends to get into crevices. Uh, for instance, like if you get it on your skin, it doesn't easily wash off because uh, the pigment is so fine that it kind of settles in the nooks and crannies. And so it does when you run the pigment across surfaces, um, it tends to get into any, any grooves that are, that are there. But this actually looks pretty good after a week. I would call this easily uh, printable compared to other resins that I've, that I've seen.